Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find outliers within a data set. I'm going to show you how to do this in Tableau, two different methods actually, and then afterwards we're going to move to Excel. Now for this example, I'm going to be using the Superstore data set. This is a data set that comes pre-built with Tableau, and it's essentially order information for a fictional furniture business. And our job as an analyst, uh, as the business analyst, for this fictional business is to find outliers among the order information and in particular around sales. So how can we do this? The first method I call the flower method. And the idea here is to take all of our dimensional, uh, our dimensional information um, and view it in a packed bubble chart. And that way we can very easily identify our outliers. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and take our ID. And if you don't have an ID, it's some field which is unique for the specific dimension. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and drag it onto the detail marks um, box. And you're going to end up seeing like something like this. So now every single order is represented by a circle. But you can see everything looks the same. So now we're going to go ahead and take the measure we want to check against and drag that up onto size and boom look what we get we get this packed bubble chart kind of looks like a flower without the petals and we can now actually pretty easily identify our outliers which are going to be the bigger circles because this this um, the sales here is going to be a is going to scale up um, from small to large based on the, the size of the sale for each individual order. Now, a way to kind of enhance this is I'd like to take that measure and put it onto the color. And I've been kind of playing around with it, but you know, by default, you're going to get um, the blue like that. Uh, and you can see it, it's now actually a bit easier to identify the outliers because there's a lot of circles here. And if you've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of values uh, or hundreds of thousands of individual, um, you know, if it's orders or products or users, you can have a lot of circles. So this way, you know, we kind of hide in the background all the small sales and the large sales are indicated, the large orders by sale amount are highlighted nicely in uh, a darker color. If the blue doesn't kind of work for you, then Tableau, you can easily switch and play. You know, you have red and green. Um, you know, Sunrise is one of my favorite. And now it's actually even clearer which orders um, stick out because of the, the way the color uh, template is working. The next kind of method to do this is kind of a more traditional um, bubble chart view. And to do that, you're going to need, we're going to need an X and Y, an X and Y axis. So let's go ahead and take sales, add that over here into rows. It's going to act as our Y axis. And the X axis is less critical. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use order date. And by default, I'm going to get my circle. But now we're going to go ahead and drag order ID onto uh, detail. And I'm going to come over here and switch this to day. And now we get a nice bubble chart. And in this case, you know, date isn't really relevant, but I like, you know, we wanted to have both an X and Y axis to kind of give us this two dimensional view. And now once again, we can see very clearly the orders, which have very high sales and up here is our outlier. Um, you know, I would say this one and this one over here are outliers. And once again, we can also drag sales onto color. Um, maybe in this case now, we can go ahead and use something like that, um, make our size a bit bigger. And now we can see our blue circles are our outliers. Now, if you don't know Tableau or you don't have a license to Tableau, you can always do the same thing in Excel. I'm not going to go through the exact steps, but you basically want to go ahead and create 
scatter. Um, that's actually what you call this, a scatter graph, not a bubble chart. Um, doesn't, I guess, not that critical what you call such a thing as long as you understand the, the layout. Um, and you can go ahead and play around with that, add the right um, series of data, and then you're going to get the same type of view. And now, once again, you can kind of identify the orders which are outside of the, the big cl uh, cluster, uh, and those are, by definition, your outliers. So that's it. Hope you found this interesting uh, and useful. If you have any questions um, on this video, then please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.